What's going on everybody? Kevin Vidini here for a quick episode of Superpower Review. Guys, I'm super excited for today's video because today I am finally taking you guys to the time capsule here in Seekonk, Massachusetts. I'm going to give you guys like a quick tour of the comic book shop and I'm also going to do some digging. So uh, let's get into it. So what did you guys think about that? Pretty cool shop, right? It's one of my favorite shops in the area. I really love the time capsule in Seekonk, Massachusetts. Uh, you can't go wrong. Uh, they have things reasonably priced. They are super organized. Um, the staff is really good there, especially, um, I guess he's the co-owner, uh, co-owner uh, Jeff. And, uh, you know, he'll help you find what you're looking for, or if you're just there to, to talk shop, he, he could pretty much do that uh, throughout the whole day. Um, so I did pick up a few things. Uh, I didn't break the bank today. I picked out uh, three books. I spent a whopping $5. So uh, I definitely accomplished today's goal. I made a video, and I didn't spend a lot of money doing it. So um, the first book I picked up was a... Marvel Comics presents Weapon X number 79. Really cool Wolverine cover, and I am looking to uh, collect all of these um, Marvel Comics presents Weapon X runs so I can uh, have the full run to read. So can't oh you can you can never have too many cool Wolverine covers that's for sure. <laughs> and uh, for the second book I picked out was a What If Craven. Uh, the hunter had killed Spider-Man. So what if number 17? Um, Craven's Last Hunt is my favorite Spider-Man story. Absolutely love that story. I love how dark and gritty it is. And plus you got Michael Zeck on uh, artwork. So you can't really go wrong. My favorite Spider-Man cover. So I'm interested to see what would really happen if Craven had killed Spider-Man. So pick that up. And... Um, Another book that uh, I'm collecting to try to finish off a run is um, Spawn. So we got a Spawn number five. Really cool cover. Really like this one a lot. So I'm trying to finish up my Spawn run as well from at least uh, issue one to ten. So uh, can't go wrong with Spawn. So those are the three books I picked up today at the Time Capsule in Seekonk, Massachusetts. Guys, if you're in the area, I uh, highly suggest you check this place out because uh, you could, as you could see in the video, you could spend hours in there digging through long boxes. <laughs> it's a really, really good time. To give the time capsule in Seekonk, Massachusetts a review using the CGC grades, I 
have no choice to give it a 9.8 because again uh, the prices are very fair it's organized and you know the the owners really cool as well so that's gonna do it for today's episode guys I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did be sure to smash that like button and if you want to see more from the channel be sure to subscribe uh, the channel is almost going to hit 700 subscribers and I want to thank all of you for showing the love and support to the channel and um, you know I don't think we've ever reached a hundred subscribers so fast uh, like that so uh, there's definitely going to be another mystery box giveaway which you know I'm more than happy to do since uh, this channel has been getting so much love and support so that is no problem there and um, also too uh, also comment in the comment section your favorite thing about the time capsule in Seekonk Mass. So that's going to do it for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.